good afternoon to everyone so today i welcome you all for uh, ae8501 fly dynamics so in our previous classes we have completed forces and moments acting on our flight vehicle and equation of motion of our rigid flight vehicle and different types of drag and how to estimate our parasite drag coefficient by using proper area method and a drag polar the decent relationship between coefficient of lift to drag how it vary from low speed to high speed vehicles and uh, uh, thrust uh, required so that derivations also we have studied in our yesterday classes so today we are going to cover uh, how to estimate thrust available and power required and power available so that is the today topic we are going to discuss so in our previous classes we uh, form equation for thrust required so thrust required equal to w divided by ratio of cl divided by cd that means coefficient of lift to the drag so that derivation we are derived in the last class so today we are going to uh, deal about thrust available so thrust available it is fully depends on our uh, airplane engine so how the engine perform so simultaneously that energy we get it as a thrust available so in this slide i showed two figures so first one will be a reciprocating engine uh, based on the uh, propulsion so in this curve left uh, there is a vertical axis will be a ta that means thrust available and a horizontal axis will be a v infinity that means velocity so while we starting our vehicle at a zero velocity so the thrust available will be needed at high much amount so after we increasing our speed of our vehicle so thrust available will be dropped so this is the curve for a reciprocating engine for a jet engine turbojet engine thrust available will be in high at a low speed after we increasing the velocity so thrust available also start to increase in a smaller quantity so this is our comparison between reciprocating engine and turbojet engine so in this curve we can easily estimate our v1 as well as uh, v2 so that means minimum velocity or maximum velocity we can estimate and how it will estimate with the help of uh, velocity versus of thrust available so we are taken consider of uh, cj1 that aircraft so while we start our vehicle at a low speed so thrust available will be maximum after we are increasing our uh, speed so it may be start to decrease after reaching lowest point then it start to increase uh, in a thrust available so we have noted two points so first point will be a partial throttle so how much amount of quantity of uh, fuel or air whatever we given so that simultaneously affect our power so partial throttle we are open so we get a uh, thrust available in a minimum quantity and next one point 2 will be a maximum thrust, av uh, thrust available that means we are uh, we are allowing the throttle in a fully opened so these are all the points you can get it from this slide so next one will be power required for our level and uh, unaccelerated flight so in this uh, derivation you need to take a uh, uh, small assumption so here we are having one object so we are going to apply the force so based on our applied force it may start to uh, displace from point a to point b so we are going to take a uh, uh, time seconds for reaching this distance so the distance will be small d time initial time will be t1 and final time will be t2 so it may be affected based on the definitions so the power it is nothing but 
energy per unit time so that is the definition for power so here we are going to use a formula so power equal to energy per time so how much amount of energy we are given per second so that is the power so here we are going to furtherly expand our energy into force multiply of distance so next we are going to divide that a distance per time we already know that is the velocity so we can easily get the uh, formula for power so power equal to product of force multiply velocity okay thank you